Okay, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to process instruments. When you come to sterilization room, you're going to bring your tray into the contaminated area. And over here, you're going to sort out the instruments. So, okay, as you can see in this tray, we still have things that go in the shards. So, we're going to get this so we can open this area where the sharps go. And we're going to throw these over here. Now, if you can see here, we have biohazard waste. So this that it's damp with blood, we're going to open this and we're going to throw it in the biohazard waste. The matrix bands in the sharps container. Avoid cross contamination. Always get a paper towel to touch these surfaces. We're going to sort out the instruments. So these instruments over here, they are motor instruments. These do not, you cannot submerge them in water. So these cannot go in the ultrasonic cleaner. So these two hand pieces, the hygiene hand piece, the high speed and the low speed motor cannot go into the um, ultrasonic cleaner. So we're going to put them on the side so we can wipe them down. Instruments that are with um, blood or um, if the blood has dried already and it's cakey, all of those instruments, we're going to try to avoid putting them in in the ultrasonic scaler like so. So what we do is spray a little bit of the intermediate um, level disinfectant and kind of rinse them out before putting it in the ultrasonic with the rest of the instruments. So again, what we do is spray them. As you can see, the blood comes out. So they, so we don't um, put these with the other instruments that are not as soiled. And we don't make this water that contaminated. So now they're good to go there. Now, again, we're sorting the instruments. This instrument that is the ultrasonic scaler for the hygienist does not go in the ultrasonic cleaner. So this Cavitron tip does not go into the ultrasonic. So the motorized instruments, the Cavitron tip does not go in there. Instruments that are heavily soiled with blood, also, we're going to try to clean them first. And then these are okay to be placed in the ultrasonic scaler and this as well. And then we're going to cover this and we're going to turn it on. And we can set, before we turn it on, if that, this is not set with the timer, we can set it and then we turn it on. So now we go here, we take this out. Again, trying to avoid cross-contamination, we're gonna throw this out. And we're going to clean the tray. Gonna put it over here and these we will just wipe and we need to oil them. So we're going to get this to oil them. And what we do is we're going to try to remove as much oil as possible so when we are putting it in the pouch, the pouch doesn't get filled with um, that oil and it doesn't look dirty when it's sterile. And now what we're going to do is 
we're going to bag them. And here are the, um, the pouches. The way that we bag is in groups. When we place it in, we're going to put in first the working end so we can see what's in the bag. So the way to open this is you're going to hold it with your left hand and you're going to do this so you can have this open and you don't have to use this other hand. And then from here, this will go in and then you can drop it. So then you're just going to get this out and there is this dotted line over here that you're just going to hold like so. And this is how you would bag um, your instruments. This one is a little bit smaller. And so we would get a smaller size. You wanna make sure that the oil is out so this doesn't go into the bag. So now we're gonna place it there. Again, we're gonna remove this. And at the dotted line, we're going to put it here, okay? Now this one is longer. We're gonna use a longer one. We're gonna do this. And this is how you would back the instruments. Okay, and this one, you would put it in there. This one is halfway. You never fold it all the way over here. So never do that. You gotta fold it right where the dotted line is. So you're gonna do this. And over there. So you're going to take this out and you're gonna shake this and over here you're gonna come and you have to rinse this off. And once you're done with that, you're going to put it on top of paper towel. And you're just going to dump it, okay? Don't try to hold it from here. You might get pricked. You might, you know, get pinched with one of the instruments. So never do that. You're just going to dump it onto that towel, okay? When you're using the autoclave, there is no need for you to dry the instruments, okay? So what you do is, like so, you don't need to dry it, you don't need to be going patting the instruments, you don't need to do any of that. You're going to bag in groups. So let's say, you have the basic. So the basic will go in group. Again, you're gonna hold this in this hand and with your thumb and index or like this, you're going to do this to open the bag. So you're going to drop it, working end first. So there's the mouth mirror, the explorer, and the cotton pliers. And this is a pack. So you're not going to put this instrument here, another um, cotton pliers in there because when you open them and you're not gonna use everything in the bag, then it's not gonna be sterile and you would need to sterilize them again. So it is very important that you bag them by groups, okay? So this is one group. Then we're gonna continue. We're gonna take this, again, the basic. We have the mouth mirror. Again, we do this. The working end looking down so we could see it and then this. That's the basic. And then we're going to close it. Then over here, this is by itself. In some offices, they would group them with um, the procedure that they do. 
maybe with the crown procedure instruments. It will depend on how your office um, like to sort them out. Here, this would be by itself. And again, if the bag is too big for that, you're not gonna fold it over here. You're still gonna fold it at the dotted line. Okay. Same thing. This will be by itself. Always the working end down. So now we're going to throw all of this out. Now we have to load it in the autoclave. The first thing that we need to check for the autoclave is if we have enough water. If there is not enough water, we have to put water through here. The water that is needed is distilled water. You cannot put regular tap. So you gotta be careful, the water that you place is distilled, okay? So now, you're going to take out a tray. Okay. You cannot overload the machine. If you are placing instruments right on top of the other like this, this will not get sterilized. There is steam that has to go through the bag into the instruments in order for them to get sterilized. So it is very important that you do not overload them, okay? So um, what you can do in certain instances, it's like for these instruments that are not um, as big, you can put them like this in a horizontal way. And you can add more instruments this way. You can do this and Depending on your machine, you can put them face down or face up. You have to read your manufacturer's instructions. In this machine with this autoclave, you would have to put the bags facing up, okay? So then once this is ready, you're going to be placing it in. It's okay. You're going to take the other tray. And you can do this. Making sure that there is nothing, that all the instruments are free to get that steam. Okay? Do not overload. And then we only have one over here, so we're just going to place this one here. Okay. Making sure the, the water level and not overloading the, the trays. The way to close this is, there is this handle. You're going to, if you can see, this has here, when you pull it up here, so it can fit into these um, holes. So you're going to pull this up and it's gonna hold, go above the holes and then once you have it there, you're just going to drop it and that's how you would close it. Here, this one is digital. So you have different um, um, buttons here. So what we used was pouches because these are pre-selected buttons. So you're just gonna do pouches and click start and that's how you would do it and for this one specifically it's going to stop it's going to beep so you can vent it so when it tells you you're just going to open it and it's going to vent so the instruments can then dry that's how you process instruments